Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Brownie from the Young Zings. I'm t today, I'm playing some Magician. I'm doing the TCG OCG pool instead of uh, just straight up TCG. I've been kind of, I don't know, I'm just kind of itching to play this deck, so I'm playing that dreaded TCG OCG thing. I, I don't like this playlist. I I've said it multiple times, but I really don't because people play it, these crazy monotonies that uh, aren't TCG legal. But oh, it looks like this guy's actually playing a similar deck. Pendulum Call with Damage Juggler? Strange. Um, usually you don't see the Perform Mages and Magicians, but it'd be cool if we have a Mirror Match. I'd like that a lot. I just don't like when people play, like, either, like the Trains or, like, the Pendulum Sorcerer, because, like, I have no idea when we're getting those cards. I think we're getting the Trains in the next World Superstars, but it hasn't been announced, so we don't know when that's going to be imported. But we, we don't know when we're getting the Pendulum Sorcerer, so, I mean, I just want to play DCG. What the heck is this guy playing? It's fine. Trap tricks. I see trap tricks. I saw damn juggler. I saw magicians. I mean, I don't know, man. I got a waiver, guys. So we're we're set to go. All right. Oh, he's adding. Yep, he's adding flash fire. Okay. So he has a bottomless trap hole. That's gonna be annoying, actually. We'll we'll figure that out. Okay. Yep. Don't activate insight. You're not allowed to. Yeah. He's not allowed to. He's not allowed to activate insight because he played pendulum call. He can't destroy his own scales. Glorious. All right. Um. Hmm. I think the best course of action is just to pendulum summon one guy, so that way to bait out the bottomless. Yeah, that's probably best, so I'll activate this. Discard the Upstar Goblin, because it's Upstar Goblin. Alright, so I know I, he is bottomless and an unknown. I wouldn't be surprised if that says Wavering Eyes, um, but I don't have to worry about that this turn, because my scales can't be killed thanks to Pendulum Call. Alright, this and Zhang K? Uh, I think so. Hmm. I think Dragon Vein's actually not a bad idea, but I can just beat over him. Alright, and I will s act play s Scales. <clears throat> Response? No? Okay, and I'm gonna Pendulum Summon 1. Response, hopefully- yes, there we go, got the bomb out of the way. Good. Mineral damage. Now we're going to normal summon this and push a little bit. Battle phase. Go, my Dragon Bane. Got that out of the way. If he's two, set Wavering Eyes pass. And I'm going to wait. Um, no, I'm going to wait till he um, sets his new scale. Once he activates Insight and sets another guy, and then I'll kill both those. That way he can't. Um, Draw the guy he needs later. So he's activating Insight Magician or the Wisdom Eye Magician to place someone else um, in his deck onto a scale, which is fine. And once he does that, now I'll nuke. There we go. And my scales are going to stay because of Pendulum Call, but um, I'm still going to be able to add a Pendulum Monster. Um, the Pendulum Monster I'm going to add is the Perform Palace Crocobat Joker, because he searches everything. He can add... Okay, he can't add Odd Eyes Fusion, which is... That's fine, he already searches the whole deck. That should be game, I mean... That's pretty... <laughs> that's pretty That's pretty big. Uh, I don't know if, he can, if he's going to be able to come back from that. If not, I'm just going to annihilate him next turn. Is th this thing's not not a threat. Okay, he's like, cool. Now, now you're gonna go TK'd. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, if you have a, if you have your other guy to complete the scale, I mean, what am I supposed? To, what was I supposed? To, yeah, okay. What was I? What was I supposed to do? Oh, that's right. He did add Dragon Vein though with um, uh, Pendulum Call. I didn't forget about that. But I still, I mean, I still played Wavering Eyes at the right time. I don't think he's the OTK, I don't see it. 
Yeah, well, no, we'll, we'll just let them play it out. Oh, uh, no. Never mind. There it is. Yeah, we're dead. That sucks. I mean, I, I know he had the Stroker Bat Joker. That sucks. Oh well, we're just gonna t we're just gonna take it. We're uh, obviously, I'm pretty sure he has game, but I don't know for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, it's over. And yeah, he has Oath in the deck. Yeah, this is over. One and two and three and four. Yep, I'm ready to admit defeat, but not, not yet, not yet. Patience. Oh no, we're dead. I think, that, I think that play sucks, but oh well. It's not necessary to make Dark Rebellion. Alright. Uh, well, it doesn't suck, but... I mean, suboptimal. Okay. Um, what do I need to beat the mirror match? I need access to... Um, Pendulum Summon Negations. So I think some Scolding is going to be solid. Um, the a Apex Avian is not that great in the mirror match. It's not like... Well, hold on. Um, it's hard for him to get over. He has to exceed summon, but he can just beat over with um, Anai's Absol Absolute Dragon, which is this guy right here, 2800 attack. And I can't really do anything about that. Um, so, I don't think Avian's the best way to go. I might, yeah, I'll probably start, I'll just probably just start out both. And this is fine. Can we, nothing else I, I desperately need. My deck's already pretty set up to kill him. Um, Luster Pendulums in my main deck are gonna give me an edge. I doubt he. Pl I doubt he plays them, because most people don't. Because um, they're not that great with this deck. I think I've still got some time. As he's still siding. Maybe. Hmm. We're fine. Um. I really just need those sub negations, and you're gonna go first. Because I want to go. I want to go second pretty much every time. All right. We. This is fine. This is actually pretty solid. If I can draw. A wavering eyes or a um, sky arc. This this hand gets really dumb. That's the point. That's the hidden genius with Luster Pendulum in this deck is that his scale is right in the middle of the fours and the sevens, so I can never summon both. I have, excuse me, I have to summon just the sevens or just the fours. But his effect is so good that if I'm able to resolve his effect and then get him out of the Pendulum scale, um, and place a new scale with like Dragon Vein and and a, and a low scale, then I win. Because the advantage I got is just too real. The Pentium Call is going to be annoying because um, I can't pop his scale with Ignis or Prominence. Yeah, you probably set Plush Fire Pass. Sure. Oh, triple Pendulum Call. Wow. Actually, kind of sucks, but we'll have to play it out as best we can. Um, pendulum Call. Discard. Search out. Um, Hmm. I didn't activate uh, Lost Pendulum um, ahead of time because I'd rather um, keep. I'd rather just Pendulum summon him than put in my scale. Because I want people to get rid of him. I want my Insight Magician. And another 4 to back him up. So we, we have a really solid play. It's just. Yeah, take a second. Um. Hmm. We're gonna go with Noble Dragon. That way, I'll just keep, um get rid of one of his wolf things, one of his back row. All right, and I'll let's go. Activate this effect. Get rid of any potential threats. Almost. Oh wow, that's pretty big. All right. Um. Effect. Alright, I'm gonna add. Who probably want Odd Eyes. Yeah, Odd Eyes seems pretty strong. And. Uh, am I gonna Pendulum Summon? Yeah, I'm gonna Pendulum Summon, but I'm not gonna kill that, that plus fire because there's no reason to. He's just gonna be able to Pendulum Summon it back. He's gonna set the. Yeah, there's no reason to, to kill it. Um. Some of the odd eyes. 
Okay, and there's nothing else I can do. Pass. His scales are going to be uh, vulnerable next turn, so I can make a prominence him. This is fine. His his board's not as it's not in it's not an OTK land yet. Unless he can OTK me, I have the edge because of this luster pendulum. So I'm gonna be able to make a Mr. Prominence and just steamroll him. That's uh Yeah, that's probably the best. Um what's nice is that I sent the Noble Dragon Magician, so I'm gonna be able to just toss it back onto the board. Um, for free. So, so its effect can trigger in the grave or in the hand. I can just re reduce and autize on the field, reduce his level by three and summon that guy. And this guy's a tuner. Um, so essentially mitigate the cost by discarding it for Dragon Pit. I got to, um, it's essentially got to pop one of his back row for free. So I'm going to summon this thing back next turn. I could have done that, uh, this past turn, but. There wasn't really a reason to synchro summon. So I don't really I want to keep the autos on board, just the regular autos. But it wouldn't be bad to make a cool synchro play in a second here, but we might be in trouble. I mean his battle phase is over, so we're not gonna die. He might just wall up. Oh no, he's exceed summoning. What oh, he's gonna make? It's a fine if he castells one of these things. Yeah, he's can castell. That's fine. I have a pendulum call anyway. And he's got rid of that. Okay. Sure. I'm just gonna blow you away with this with this ignister prominence in a second here. Hopefully, I draw a magician. Um, it's this is. I'm probably gonna discard whatever card I draw for pendulum call. That way I can add the Jank and a Dragon Pit so I can complete my scale and some of the some of the Jank. That might not be necessary. Uh he normal no he pencil something. Okay. That's pretty good. Alright. Uh we're gonna um, just go ahead and test the waters here with um Actually I don't need Pendulum Call because I can just summon these guys back. Okay, okay. This is this is good, this is good. So, normal summon. Response. Okay. Synchro summon. The Ignister Prominence, the Blasting Draco Slayer. Um, to s I'm gonna use this effect to summon a um, Luster Pendulum from the deck. Uh oh. No! The Ghost Ogre! Crap. Damn it. That's fine. So now I, it's not as abusable now. I, I wasn't expecting the Ghost Ogre though. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe that was a mistake, but, uh, regardless, I'm still just gonna annihilate him here. No way to recycle these cards. Um, I gotta get rid of his scale. But, we're still in, like, such a good position. I think I have an OTK, actually. Like that's how good this this hand is right now. All right, I think I'm gonna pendulum call discard the oaf dragon and then add another oaf dragon and jank and the four. Well, I gotta think. Um, I can pendulum back these two if I just set this as my scale. But then I'll be done after that. That's not good. Um. Oh lordy, how about if we? Yeah, I think I got a pendulum call no matter what. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna pendulum call. This also protects me against wavering eyes. Which is, uh, kinda big. Because I, I, he's very, he very likely, um, has them sighted in. And I'm gonna add Jenke. And Oath Dragon? Yeah. Yeah. Watch this, watch this, watch this. This is pretty good, actually. Alright, and then we're going to summon this. So now Odd Eyes is level 4. Alright. Uh, 
we, we, get, we still got plays. So I'm going to place this in my other scale. And I'm going to Synchro Summon. This goes the extra deck face up, right? Um, so, okay. So I can Synchro Summon the Yacht Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon. Yacht Eyes Meteor Burst is going to summon... Uh, is it my Pendulum Scale? Yeah, okay. Um, effects, I'm going to summon the Gen K. Monster Zone. And activate another scale. Alright, so we gotta figure this out. I need to I need to uh like see summon though. I, I wanna because I wanna summon all these. Hold on. Uh so we we're gonna we can have three vacant slots. Yeah, we, this is pretty this is pretty strong actually. So we're going to summon just these two. Because I'm gonna summon Lustre Pendulum with um Yeah. Pendulum summon two. Oh man. Yeah, Pendulum Summon 2. I can summon Noble Dragon again. Alright. Oh, he might have responses. Is he going to Trenchful here? That's going to be bad if he does. Alright. Good. Alright, we're, we're still going. We're still not out, out of here. Um... Oh, I should have put that noble dragon attack on. Damn it! That would have been sick. Activate the first effect, and then activate the second effect by detaching one material, and summon back this luster pendulum. Yeah, I should have put that noble dragon in attack mode. Damn it! Oh well. Um, do I make absolute? I don't really see a reason to. Absolute would have been the much better play if I had that um, Noble Dragon here. Man, why'd I do that? But it, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're still here. Um, I have two tuners, which is annoying. Uh, Lord. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to make. I don't have to make anything, but I think Absolute is just really good. I'm I'm assuming this is a plus fire. Yeah, because I think that's what he added. I could, I'm able to big eye that. Yo, actually, that'd be sick if I could big eye that and then make something else. Let's do that. You know what? I don't know if this is the right play. I really don't. We're just going to do it, all right? We're, we're, we're bold. Big and bold. Oh, no. Alright, that was pretty good on his part. I'll give him that. Alright, this is bad now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Crap. That's what I get for making these suboptimal plays. Holy oh, crap. Man. That's rough. I did try. I did try, but it's not over. It's not over yet. He has to have something pretty nutty in order to really go. That ghost server is pretty pretty big. Triclown. I'm gonna attack that. And make you take a thousand. Alright, so you should keep that on board. May phase two. Um I'm just gonna use Oath Dragon to oh, can I add an odd eyes? Yeah, I can add odd eyes. Alright. And then just add odd eyes to my hand. Just cause. I don't even know if I've normal summoned. I don't think I did. Not that it really matters. Can't really do anything. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> End phase, I'm going to resolve Majestic Paladin. We're going to add... What are we going to add? We're going to add Skulk and Badger Ogre, probably. He's really nuts. 
Yeah, we're just gonna get, add my mans. Ooh, uh, Archmage Centric seems a good idea, but Scroll Combat Joker is gonna ensure that even if you make something nutty, I'll, I'll be in this game. Go! Oh crap, yep. It's not looking good. It's it's fine though, unless he unless he gets Ignis or Prominence, then we're still very likely in this. There's the Dragon Pit. Now he's a full scale, so he's gonna summon all his two guys in the extra deck. I can't really think of any big rank fours that are very threatening that he can make. Again, a Luster Pendulum would really do us in, but if he had Luster Pendulum, he would have played it uh, with his Oaf Dragon to duplicate that and then place that in. Well, actually, we don't know that. If he had Luster Pendulum, he'd probably just Pendulum summon it here. It's the moment of truth. Moment of truth. Spear match is kind of hard, actually. I've, I've actually never played a mirror match before. Um, it's kind of rough. That Ghost Rigger, surprising, but that's how you learn, dude. I was just more, I was just surprised more than, like, it was pretty good. Because, I mean, of course, you sign in for Insight Magician, because if you, uh, he's doing math. It's fine, take take your time, dude. There are calculators on everywhere online. Uh, he had the Ghost Ogre for Wisdom Eye Magician because if you, uh, Wisdom Eye Magician activates in the scale, and if you Ghost Ogre it, it dies without, without resolving. Um, because it has to stay up to resolve, and then they'll be stuck with just one guy on their scale, and they probably won't be able to complete it. Uh, that's, Insight's so, so good, but it's so susceptible to Ghost Ogre. That's why the OCG was playing Ghost Ogre for a while. Um, because, just solely because of the Insight Magician. That's probably why I went into one as well. But, that's probably why he had it, and but I never activated Insight this whole game, so he had the Ghost Ogre the whole time. I had to use any extra prominence. I should have used the other effect first, I guess, in hindsight. So, so I think what we what we learned here is that always use the effect to shuffle first in case you get Ghost Ogre, because that's that's the one that really matters. That's the real effect. I was I was just doing the other effect just for funsies. Um, I was just gonna see something, make another one, of the make this, and then um. Bring back one. Bring back a lost pendulum, and I was gonna. I, I was able to do that anyway. Dragon Vein. I don't think he. I highly doubt he has game. I have. I have three guys blocking the way to my life. I mean, he has no like. He has no access to like really big guys either. But the Trick Clown might help him a little bit. So he can make lots of Vixie's monsters. Uh, still, I don't. I still don't see game. Actually, no, it's actually looking kind of bad. No, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. That's fine. That doesn't really do anything. I don't know why you summon that in attack mode. I think it only has nine hundred attack. You could talk about he's probably gonna make trapeze magician, but that's still it's, we're still in this. If that's the case, um, yeah, we're still, we're still in this definitely. Trapeze magician. All right, so we're, we're just gonna take a big one and then next turn steamroll him. It's time for real because now he can't ghost ogre me. I don't know where. Alright, so my attack is going to fall to 975, is that correct? No, I think it's 875. I believe so. And 975 would be 1950. So he's, eight, he's 875. Alright, um, let's take a thousand. Because he detached, um, he summoned Trickline again. Wait, you take no damage? Oh, I forgot about that actually. That's really that's, that's really good. <laughs> okay. So I have well no matter what I take twenty five hundred. That's the way Dark Rebellion works. You always take twenty five hundred. 
If he attacks the guy, he takes stand he he takes stuff from. Okay, now the math is gonna be crazy. So how about this? We're gonna have um we're gonna have sixteen hundred plus fifty, which so it's sixteen fifty plus eight seventy five. Okay, to the extra deck base up. Uh oh, is this the end? I don't think so. Yeah, we're you know, hey, we're still in this. No matter what. Wait. Did this thing attack? No, it didn't. No. We're gonna die. No, we're gonna die. No. No. Are you serious? Oh. That's, that hurts running the life points. Oh, well. GG indeed, man. That was good. That was a good first run for a Magician Mirror Match. I did enjoy that, actually, as much as nutty as, as that was. I will say, it takes a lot to be able to... That was, that was a pretty good push for gain. I was like, yo, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I didn't really see it, but I guess so. I should probably have my calculator in front of me while I do this, so I can calculate life a little more quickly. I keep trying to do it in my head, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it seems okay. Thank you guys for watching. Um, see you all next time.